Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I am here planning the week of the 28th of October in my Erin Condren Vertical Colourful Life Planner. Oh, that's a mouthful. Using this cupcake kit from Strawberry Lime Designs. So I started to use the cupcake kit in the other stickers I pulled out, but I started to use the cupcake kit in my um, horizontal for the weekly, but I never actually finished the spread. I've also got these foil overlays from my own shop. Tilly journals. Um, yeah, so I started to plan this spread in my horizontal, but basically well, that was this was the time that I was so busy prepping for um, plan 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 that everything fell off, including my planning. So yeah. But anyway, I haven't pulled out date dots. Um, this is the bottom washi. I'm going to cut in half because I didn't even get to that point with my um, spread. I'm going to pop the date dots down and a full box in the sidebar. So I won't actually finish this kit completely as I normally would in these plan with me's um, because I've still got that spread to finish. So yeah, that's the plan. So next thing to do is to pop a glitter header at the top of every day. I'm going to alternate between the two colours here. Actually I might not. I think I might just put the blues all along the top and then the pink at the top of my text each day. Except now I'm regretting that decision and think I should have done the pinks because the um, headers are so blue. Date covers I mean. Okay, so that is my glitter headers down. So let's move on to the sidebar. So um, top of the sidebar, I always like to have my Monday through Sunday box, which is for um, my sort of best bits of that week. So I'm gonna use this glitter header that's left over to break it up. And then I'm gonna pop a header strip down. I didn't pull out a best bits thing. And then I'm gonna use that purple colored Monday through Friday box instead of the pink one because purple is far more my jam than pink ever will be and I need to box out those lines. Then we're going to have another glitter header and a half box for um, the best moment of the week. I'm just going to use this, oh no, I don't think I want a half box actually, I think I pulled out the sticker for it. I did indeed, I was correct. So um, this paint splatter and I'm just going to work from the bottom up just to make sure I've got enough room. So for the bottom I want a little strip of washi just to go right at the bottom of the spread and I've got these two currently boxes from Planner Face. Then my final of the glitter headers in that colour which leaves us with the correct amount of space for this but just tells me which way around I can have it. That is my sidebar except the title which I haven't pulled out yet. I do have a Hello Weekend banner but I'm gonna wait till I'm on the weekend to do that because it depends how much space I've got left. So that is it for the setting up of this spread so I think it's time to go in day by day. So let's pull out the stickers for the day by day. Okay so the first thing to mark on Monday is that I was at work. I think I'm gonna use a quarter box for this. Um, I need to remember that this isn't the I can't finish all my stickers because um, I've got my actual spread to finish and I had a lot of patients that day that had not very good mental health so I'm just going to mark that as well and I was going to pull out another pink sticker but I don't want that do I um, so I'm just going to use this appointment label to mark <coughs> that and then we were on call which I think I'm just going to mark on its own in an empty gap and what's this side eye for? just to mark that I had a rough day. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in my header and my bit of text next. So I think I need to pull this header a tiny bit up just to um, not have a weird gap so I can't just cover up the header so I just need to completely tip that out. 
I have to say I'm looking forward to moving into the neutral back into the neutral um, so that's for my bit of text so I probably have to write this as I go along don't I got there in the end um, that was a bit of a train wreck wasn't it um, and I just have this side eye to mark the fact it was a rough day and then what else have I got to mark on this Monday I did some editing when I got home from work I'd quite like to put this on a flag but my problem is a flag would mean that I wouldn't be covering this header so I'm going to use a little thing instead and that's way too much space for that rough day text but it's going to have to do And I'm going to do J Crew's J Crew plans trick, except I don't have scissors. That's just so you can't see the um, knife and fork through the clear sticker. Then I did lots of cutting of stickers and we watched Bake Off. And the last two things to mark. Sorry if there was a bit of a weird cut there, my camera died and yeah, stuff. So that's Monday. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it will do. And I've lost my Monday work sticker. I feel like it's probably stuck to me somewhere. But I can't do anything about that right now. But um, work is the next thing I want to mark on Tuesday. The next thing I want to mark on Tuesday. The first thing I want to mark on Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to pull out a flag. And as I say, I've lost my sticker. I don't know what I did with it, but it will turn up presumably some point somewhere, somehow. So that's for work, and then it was a self-study morning being a Tuesday, so I'm just going to mark that on a little thing. Let's use a pale pink little thing for that. Mm. Then... Well, our, one of our leaders announced that she wasn't was going to leave um, Rangers after guides. Um, we were quite shocked, and I think that's probably it's oh, <laughs> what I want to do my texting about. But I don't want my text next to my text, you know? Yeah, no. So maybe not. Um, when I got home, I did some printing, some cutting, and some editing, and then watched the Bake Off final. In fact, I'm going to put my text about the Bake Off final. Because I don't know about you, but I don't think the right person won the Bake Off this year. Just saying. I'm still angry. I am. Like, it annoys me that it's all just based on the final. Like, the final, he deserved to win the final. Fine. He deserved Star Baker that week. But he had not performed. I shouldn't be saying he, because if you... <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> um, but anyway. But he had not. He'd performed far worse than the other two throughout the series. I'd have been happy if either of the other two had won. Um, so yeah, did some printing and then it did some cutting of stickers. I did some editing also, but I've run out of my edit stickers and I just haven't made myself any more yet. And it's pure laziness. Um, slash, I haven't really had my silhouette out since then, so haven't had a chance. Um, so, um, and then we watched the Bake Off final that's for editing oh we didn't have guides I was like why didn't we have guides and rangers this week why am I not marking those because it was half term Tilly that's why um, so then I'm going to mark in the Great British Bake Off final and if I line that up with that header I think that will give me space to write final there and then I'll put my bit of text so I need that header that keeps getting stuck to me And I've just got this um, salty sticker there. And I was going to mark that all of this was plan, plan, plan prep, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to pull that sticker off. And I'm just going to write in all of that space. So where are my checklists? Not having scissors is kind of distracting me quite badly. I'm so used to having them. There we go. So there, I've just got that space to write in, which means I don't have to write it right now. I do need to start pulling some more four boxes in, but I've had quite a lot to mark so far, which is surprising. I have less later in the week, I think. Anyway, Wednesday, 
Uh, I had work and I didn't feel very well that day at work. I felt really like dizzy and lightheaded. It was really strange. I think I might put that on a strip of washi because um, it's like a see-through icon. So I think it will work quite nicely. I mean, my work scripts are not on clear, um, but the icon is on clear. So it just looks quite cool because you just get that foil. Though I really don't like the position I've put it in. So this is my own sticker. My clear paper peels well off regular or removable mat. It does not peel very well off premium mat, but that's true of all premium mat, I would have said. Next thing to mark is that I did not feel very well that day. So I've just got this nope doggy wrapped in a towel. Um, then it was teaching day at work. So I'm gonna mark that and I'm gonna do the whole little thing with a bit of a little thing cut over the icon to use a clear icon again. I really hope that made sense, more sense to you than it felt like it made when I said it. I think I'm actually going to have like, a room for a full box on this Wednesday. Um, then basically my paper did not get delivered. They walked past our front door and didn't knock. So I was fuming a little bit. Um, so there was quite a lot of faff and stress trying to sort that out. Um, the next thing to mark I think that's probably going to be what my little bit of text is about I'm only going to put a little bit on because I just want to mark that I foiled and cut afterwards and then I want to put a full box in the last space so let's work up from the bottom now in fact so let's pull out a full box um, so that's my full box then above that I want to put a foil and cut and I think I'm going to pop that in a half box just because I've got quite a lot of space and there's not really a lot to say. So I'm going to pop the silhouette across the top. So foil and cut there and then in the last bit of space is where my text will be. So there's not a great deal of room to write in there but there's enough space. So that is the first half of the week already all filled out. A little bit of foil show you there. Let's flip over and do the second half of the week. So Thursday was Halloween, which I'm gonna pop in another half box, except I need to work up from the bottom, don't I? Oh, my work sticker. Right, so I'm gonna go up from the bottom just because, um, I want to, if there's a full box, it's gonna be at the top. So this J is to mark that I finished up foiling 200, uh, no, 190 sheets of sticker. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's how many we foiled that night. Then I'm gonna pop um, on a stripper washi, this binge watch, cause we binge watch TV while we foiled. And then in a little thing, I'm gonna mark that we were foiling. So should I actually pull all this up and move it up and put my text at the bottom? There we go, that's better. Um, totally showed off my inability to write straight on that. So that, I'm so pleased, is really wonky. So thing to mark before that is work and I am indeed gonna fit in a full box. So I'm gonna go with this one here and um, so this will be my third full box of the spread and with her kits with um better kits i've got i can have four per spread so this is working out okay so far it means i've got one more full box for the rest of the week um so i'm gonna use a half box to mark halloween as i was saying and i'm not going to use that half box anymore because it's too similar to the full box um, let's use a brightly coloured one instead. <coughs> so I've got um, these pumpkins and I'm just going to have some foiled bats flying just above them. And then I've got this little maru from Paper and Milk and a work icon. So that is Thursday, all finished up. Friday, again, I don't have very much to mark. Basically, I had the day off and I spent the day foiling. <laughs> uh, no, cutting stickers. So I'm gonna have to stretch out some text, I think, to make this day filled a bit better. 
but let's pull in an appointment label to start off with to mark my day off and I've got a little foiled house to mark that you know I was at home rather than at work I thought that was quite a cute idea and then I'm gonna pull in a half box to mark cutting and then we'll pop our text in after that I think So I probably shouldn't have pulled in my full box there, but I did and it's too late to take it back, so it was. Um, so we're going to move on to Saturday and hopefully we'll fill up the... What I might do is I might make a washy weekend banner or something to fill up some space at the top of the day. Anyway, Saturday I'm just going to pop this here. And then above that I've got this to mark that we um, went the tie for dinner I feel like I could do with a piece of washi at the bottom of that there we go um, so that's the mark going to the tie in fact don't I want to put my text about the tie yes I think I probably do so this wants to come up and we will jump to the top because I'm going to try my best not to fit a box in on this day put a box in on this day so we need to try and use up some space so I'm gonna put that oh, we did cutting on this day there and then I've just got this face plant here to mark getting frustrated at everything then I'm gonna use this Etsy sticker on a half box I think but I don't want a blue one because it's really in use uh, I feel like I've not got enough boxes left and I know I've got like half the spread to finish later as well in my other planner but that's future Tilly's problem I can always pull in silver functionals with that um, so that's to mark trying to get things done quickly but not really working then we've got that for the tie and in fact we can pull all of this down a bit to put in the weekend banner that I keep talking about and keep forgetting about Okay, so that is Saturday, so it's time to switch over our pages, and I do have a few more stickers for Sunday, so I think it's going to work with those last two full boxes being saved for my other planner. So, um, Sunday we did some printing and cutting, so I'm going to pop that on a half box. I feel like I've used loads of half boxes in this spread, but you know what, that is really, really future to this problem. Um, I don't actually like having used some of the stickers um, for a different, like, uh, but not all of them. Does that make any sense? I feel like I'm not making any sense, but I know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I print and cut and foiled. I'm actually tempted to not use that half box and put those on like... Um, just write and then write the word stickers in and then in fact I could put it on a flag couldn't I so print cut and foil so then at lunchtime I got quite frustrated at um, my silhouette it was cutting weirdly for some reason best known to silhouettes because Anybody that owns one knows they like to throw paddies every so often <coughs> for zero reason. Um, so I got frustrated at it then and then um, I discovered that it just was not cutting correctly at all. Um, so I got really really frustrated at that and then my boyfriend jumped on and spoke to Amazon where my silhouette is from and they were just like send us it back it's fine we'll send you a new one 
spoiler alert, I haven't actually returned the new one yet. It's still sitting in my room. Um, just because I've been too busy, basically, to actually return it. But I know, we're talking about the end of October, the beginning of November here, and we are halfway through December at this point. But shush, it's fine. It's Amazon, they are not that concerned, and they don't have to pay tax, so I don't care. Um, so then I'm just going to pop in my text down at the bottom. So after doing this full spread and so, oh, hang on. So that is the full spread before the pen. Um, I am kind of in love with it, I have to say. Um, I say that actually, I need to pop overlays and stuff in, but we'll do that in a sec. So I used up all the glitter headers. Um, I've got two full boxes left. I've got some of the washi. I've got most of the ombre heart check boxes, which I might cut down for my other planner. I've got some boxes, a couple of little things like deco and functionals there loads of functionals on there including the weekend banner which i'll use in my main planner that's going to go in the bin the empty sheet and um, so let's pull in some overlays so over the headers i'm going to pop these stars and then i'm just going to work with these different ones on the rest of them There we go, that is the finished spread before the pen. I'm loving it. I decided to pull in, I had three like leftover uh, header overlays, so I decided to pull those into the sidebar. The only thing missing is the title for this box here. So yeah, I think without any further ado, I'm gonna write everything in. Okay, so there is the finished spread after the pen and a viv wiggle for you. So I'm missing my date dots and I'm missing my best bits header. Both of those will end up being from my shop and I'll probably share this spread on Instagram, but that is it. So the kit is from Strawberry Lamb Designs. It is on removable mat, as I just showed there. The overlays are all my own and let's run through where everything else is from. So in the sidebar, this is from Once More With Love and these are from Planner Fades. I do get a discount at Planner Fades for promoting her things. Tilly Tan will save you money, but yeah, I do get a discount, all free stuff. This is also Planner Fades, K. Elizabeth Plan Plans, Planning Roses, mine, uh, handcrafted by Sheree, who from here on out will be Sheree, Fox and Cactus, who from here on out will be Foctus, Sheree, Sheree, Foctus, Curious Cat, I think, something cat. Uh, Cherie, Cherie, Pink Bow Pans, Choco and Mimi, Mind Boy and Being the Shop, Meet Me, Paperly Fox for those two. Once More With Love, K. Elizabeth Plans or Once More With Love. Me again, Planning Roses again, Foctus, Harriet Wright Designs, Foctus, Me, Cherie. Paper Shire, Harriet Wright Designs, Paper and Milk, uh, Lucinda Charlotte Designs, Fantasy Design Store, Once More With Love. Crafty Wright Designs, Once More With Love, Paperly Fox, JD's Crafts, Harriet Wright Designs. I've said most of these things. Foctus, Paper Shire, Ginger Cat Co, Ginger Cat Co, um, per, 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 it'll come to me in a second. Foctus, Plumper Planner, Crafty Wright Designs, Foctus, me, uh, Tamashi Prints, and that's a Happy Planner sticker. And I think that is everything. So that is all I have for you in today's video. I will be back on Friday with a memory plan with me for October, November, November. I've already done October's. That was last Friday. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you do when you're really stressed and really need to get lots done. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.